woman found dead, hanging from the luggage rack of her own car. Bizarre beyond belief. Was it a suicide? I said, there is no way on this earth that it's a suicide. Or was the whole scene staged? Well, he was all sweaty and out of breath. What happened to Jenny Webb on that dark, dead-end road? And was she the only one to die that night? I knew right then and there. I just couldn't believe it. I felt sick to my stomach. Jenny Webb had a magnetic personality attracting everyone around. Tell me a little bit about Jenny growing up. I always thought of her as the sparkle of the family. She loved life and she had a good attitude. Nothing ever got her down. She was just the most happiest, loving person you'd ever want to meet. The 32-year-old from Buena Vista, Michigan had even more to be happy about these days. She was eight and a half months pregnant with her first child, a boy. Jenny's mom, Dawn, was in shock when she first heard her daughter was expecting. For that matter, so was Jenny. She was five months pregnant before she found out she was pregnant. She was five months pregnant? Five months pregnant, yes. And I'm like, you're pregnant? I said, you know, you're not even really dating anybody. Even still, there was no question as to who the father was. What did she tell you about him? Well, she and he had been um, friends for probably 10 years. I had never met him. She would say the name, that's all she told me, that he was the father. There was a reason she wasn't with the father. He was married. She was under the impression that he was separated, not even living with his wife at the time. And that's when they entered into a more intimate relationship. Yes. And just to be clear, because she was carrying his baby, was she in love with him? No, absolutely not. And did she have any fantasies of marrying him or bringing up the baby together? Absolutely not. So Jenny was preparing to be a single mother to a son she'd name Braxton. So she was pretty much set in her life, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and things were going well for her. Yes. Yes, she had a good job and she had bought a house. And starting a family of her own. Yes. So things were definitely very good. Mm -hmm. But how true was that really? When a decision is made to end it all. It's a beautiful evening in late August. After work, Jenny goes to her best friend Andrea's house to help her with newborn twin girls. Jenny can't stay too late. She has plans that night to meet up with her baby's father. I said, you know, what are you guys meeting up about? And she said, well, we need to discuss this whole child support thing. And did she also want to put his name on the birth certificate? Yes. And how did he feel about it? Um, I think that was one of the things that he was kind of on the fence about, so they were discussing that as well. So when she left that night, walked out the door, what's the last thing you two said to each other? Um, I thanked her for helping me with the girls, and she said, same time tomorrow, and I said, if you're willing, and she goes, yep, and she stepped off the porch, and she goes, see ya, and she drove off. A couple of hours later, a gruesome discovery on a secluded road. A Pontiac Aztec parked near a ditch, and a woman with an extension cord around her neck is found hanging from the car's luggage rack. The first on the scene, Buena Vista Township police officer Kenneth Blue, followed by officer Tim Patterson. When Patterson rolls up, the first thing Blue does is get out of his car and say, how do you want to do this? Both approach the vehicle and see the victim. It's Jenny Webb. Neither seem to know her. Officer Blue pulls the victim's purse out of her car and finds a small folded piece of paper. Officers Blue and Patterson read it together. It's a suicide note. There were a lot of details in the suicide note that she had lied about the true identity of the baby's father. She finally revealed that his name was Chris. She goes on to say she met him at a bar one night and lied. She's ruined her life and feels like a failure because she can't afford to support herself and her baby. The suicide note ends with, it's the only way. I love you and I'm sorry, Jenny. After reading the note, Officer Blue pulls out the victim's wallet. He looks at her ID and then proclaims, gee, I know this girl. Turns out he says it's a girl he knows from one of the local bars. 
Minutes later, Detective Sergeant Sean Waterman arrives on the scene. When I first get there, um, Officer Patterson comes up to me and says, we got this girl over here, and uh, she looks like she hung herself. The Officer Patterson tells me that uh, he had come back here looking for Officer Blue because he wasn't answering his radio checks. And I figured he was probably out here somewhere. As cops investigate the scene, Officer Ken Blue takes evidence photos, but it all appears to be pretty open and shut. You know, you sit here and you're looking at the scene and it looks like legitimate suicide scene. Not many women normally hang themselves, but I have seen it. And so it didn't look anything out of the order at that time. So the car is towed away and Jenny Webb's body is taken to the morgue. Detective Waterman then makes his way to Jenny's family's home to deliver the heartbreaking news. That horrible night, how did you find out? The phone rang in the middle of the night and it was um, Sean Waterman said, I'm on your porch, please come open your door. And I opened the door and he said, there's been a suicide. And I said, a suicide? And he said, yes, Jennifer Webb. And, and I said, which is kind of dumb, but I said, is she dead? And he said, yes. And I said, she may be dead, but she did not commit suicide. What about the suicide note? When I saw the suicide note, um, it was typed, it was single spaced, it was in size 10 font, and it was just worded so unlike my daughter. If Jenny would have written a suicide note, it would have been in her own handwriting, in a glitter pen, in purple or green or pink, and each person would have got their own copy. It would have never, ever, it never would have looked the way it did. And the content of that letter? I don't even remember most of it because I only, I probably only read about a quarter of it and I knew that it, it just wasn't legitimate, so I didn't bother reading the rest of it. Then Detective Waterman asked the Webbs three important questions. The last one changes everything. He said, did you know she was pregnant? And I said, yes. And he said, do you know who the father was? And I said, yes. And he said, who? And I said, Coming up, a bombshell. The name of the father revealed. His face just went white as a sheet. You knew in your heart mm -hmm. that your daughter was not suicidal. That's right. That's right. 